Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. I hope you enjoyed the news from Baba K. Now, away from the news and away from our earlier interview that focused on properties, one thing that can actually make your property look really beautiful are paintings and visual artworks. Now, today, looking at visual art in the society, we have Olumide Oreshegun coming to talk to us. He's a professional visual artist. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank All right. So, what sparked your interest in visual art? Um, as an Nigerian, I realized that I was born in an environment whereby uh, so many things looks ugly, you know, and you, you, you come from a background whereby you are being encouraged to nurture your passion, uh, which is art. So, and for you to be an artist, you have to be creative enough to spark emotions, to be able to, like, talk things that people can easily say but with their mouth, mm -hmm. do things with um, passion and everything. So that's the major reason why I decided to like uh, go in to be an artist. Artist. All right. Now, visual art is very broad. Yeah. There are many aspects under it. Which is your strength? Which is your, um, which would you say is your expertise? Oh, wow. Look at this. This is lovely. Mm. So this has already answered the question, but I'd like to say, because sometimes they, there's more to you than even, you know, the, the pictures say. Pictures what, is, what, what areas is even of called? visual art? Yeah. Um, this is called hyperrealism art. Oh, yeah. Oh, and did you do this? Yeah. Oh, you're the one who, oh, this famous um, art, um, painting. Yeah. All right, so your, your strength or your expertise is hyperrealism art? Yes, because I, mo I moved from one stage of art yes. to get to where I am today. Wonderful. For right. a wide period of time. Wow, look at that, Olive. Who would have ever thought? Now, this, are, this is so real, and you painted everything, even the, water, the drops of water and everything. Yeah. There was a time when you um, became very famous on social media, yeah. when CNN reached out to you. Yeah. What was the first thing that crossed your mind? At that point when they reached out to you, did you ever think that your arts would make you popular, no. as popular as you have become? No, no, no. no. I just felt, I, let me just uh, enjoy myself doing what I know how to do best and to my capacity. So, and the, the sky will be the limit. That's mm -hmm. what normally people tell me. So, but the way they, when they reach out to me, I felt ah, <laughs> this thing is going far to where I expected. And thank God, uh, things are getting better every day. So when it comes to hyperrealism art like you do, are there many people in the world who do this? Because for you to attract the interest of media houses, you know, um, big media, international media houses, there must be something unique about what you're offering. Yeah, you know, the, there is a kind of perception between um, African hearts and European hearts. Mm. Majority of the people in European part of the world don't believe African hearts artists can do something so unique or so real to the because they believe it's only carving <laughs> abstracts Go that we are, we are meant to be doing and that's <coughs> what they have been uh, propagating to the whole world that African hearts does. But when they see this, the people don't really feel that this thing can come from an African soul. So they felt it's only the white people that can treat human beings the way they really look like a photograph. And you know, this kind of style comes um, uh, around that 1971 or so by some artists in European countries. And they've been practicing using this photography, high resolution photograph to create some images by using a um, projector to to make drawings on the canvas and the rest. But in my own case, I never tried to use a projector. I tried to use what I learned how to use from the cradle, which is pencil and, and uh, brushes. Is this pencil and brushes alone? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's what I use from this cash. So some people don't know how to use those um, medium brushes. They, they just feel, uh, let me just project it into the hand yeah. and start a drawing. Yeah. But in my own, I draw from the pencil and sometimes I use brush alone and mix my paint. So when they see these kind of things that comes from an African soil, they felt, wow, this is a new dimension. And you really came from African soil because all the training you got was yes, not was out, of, out the country. of the country. It was yeah. within, Nigeria. within Nigeria. You graduated yeah. with distinction from Yaba yeah. College of Technology. Yeah. Now, um, what is, I, I see that in a lot of your works. We see family, we see the society. What would you say inspires your artworks? And on the average, how long does it take for you to make one painting? Yeah, 
So many things inspired my artwork, uh, my environment most of, most of the time because uh, I grew up in a where, in an area whereby we have so many children in a in an area called Pangrove. You know, it's a very old area in Lagos State, and um, and I grew up in an environment whereby I can relate with children and and, and talk to so many things uh, people are around me as well. So I decided to remember all those places I went to while I was a kid. Then I used to go to River Rhine area, go to so many places, do a lot of calls for, for people. So those are the things that I remembered most. So when I grew up and I finally, finally be an artist, so I decided to like record this thing in my painting. Instead of me saying it or writing it <coughs> as, yeah. a, as a, a script writer or a movie or anything, so I decided to use my own creativity to explain it or to tell the whole world what I'm been passing through right from the, my credo. Now you've been able to tell the world your story as you have done commissioned painting for His Highness Pope John Paul II, yeah. His Holiness Pope John Benedict, yeah. um, the, well, the, current the, Pope. the current Pope. Yes, Sir David Osundwe, Chief yeah. Executive Officer of Koch Nigeria Limited, the NSA to the President, and many more people. Yeah. Who would you say is your most, for you, was the highest point of your you know, art career that you were commissioned to paint? Uh. I think um, the CEO of a coach, I think. Really? Yeah. Why? Was it because of the money? <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because, I mean, comparing him to the Pope, for instance. You know, uh, you know he, he actually initiated the work I gave to the Pope. Oh, so, wow. So I did a lot of works. So it was from his work that you, you started, started getting other Pope. jobs? Yeah. Wow, oh, brilliant. brilliant. Okay, now um, you've really done so much for yourself. You've really done well. But when I look at these pictures, I'm thinking to myself, you say you use pencils and you use paintings. Do you first of all take a photograph of them? Yeah, and most times. You, most time you look at the photograph to draw on things. Yes. Oh, wow, interesting. Okay, so now um, I asked you a second question, which you haven't answered. Okay. On the average, how long does it take you to make one portrait? <sighs> most times it takes like uh, two months, sometimes one wow. and a half months. For one? For one piece. So, okay, let's take this one. How long this did you take This one takes like, like a month. And this? So, this one takes And this is all to, 2D. It's not 3D. It's 2D, not 3D. So, you know, if, by trying to create a 3D in 2D, yeah. you know, you, you need to put all your effort in it, put yeah. your time, put your energy, yeah. put so many it's, things. It, your creativity, you have to go to another level yeah. before you can bring, make it look 3D. You know, you can see that one there is something happening at the background, something she's currently doing something. Yeah. So, so many things happening. So you have to get people involved in what you are doing right. emotionally. Wow. At what age did you start painting? I started painting, uh, I think, while I was in secondary school. But I, I draw while I was uh, in primary school at the age of three, four, I started drawing. You know, then when we were, in, when we were kids, I used all my back, the back side of my exercise books, to draw. So when then my mom realized that, come, you can't be using all your <laughs> mathematics and English uh, notebook to draw. So let me get you some things you, you need to do. So she get some um, drawing books for me and some. So I started oh. using all those things to draw on my own. Brilliant. I never even knew there is something like art. Then there is a profession called art. Then I just feel like I enjoy this. There's Instead a lesson me. to be learned from that. Parents mm. need to be sensitive to their children's skills and their talents. So if you have a child and there's something that they do easily that comes naturally to them, you might want to help them groom it. Just might be the thing that would announce them to the world as it has announced you, Oreshegun, to the world. Okay. okay, now let's look at um, plans, plans for the future. Where do you see your art taken to? You know, everybody has had that dream mm. of there's this one person I need to paint or this one person I need to draw or this person I need to present my artwork to before I die. I'm sure you'd, you have that one person you look forward to meeting. So in your lifetime, who's the one person that you know that you have to do an artwork of or an artwork for before you die? I can't state one particular because there's... Okay, give me a few names. Uh, mm, let's say... Uh, uh, maybe Queen of England. Yes. Maybe Queen of England, um, the Royal Highness, uh, uh, King of Spain as well. Because I could remember while I went to Spain, I was uh, opening to meet him then. And which is, doesn't come yeah. twice in a, in a lifetime. 
you have that just opportunity. So I. Any uh, Nigerian? Any Nigerian, maybe uh, I've done president's portrait, so, and uh, maybe the, uh, any, any other person that's uh, a, a good leader in mm -hmm. Nigeria. Maybe so. before I and I get into politics, uh, maybe, one day we'll be. Maybe, maybe. I was going to ask you to do our hours. Hours. <laughs> <love that>. <laughs> Honestly, but, <clears throat> you know, um, jokes apart, when, when you talk about this, I'm so excited. This is brilliant. Now, you, like Olive said, your gift will announce you to the world, which your gift has done in this yeah. case. You have showcased in many um, nations Nation. in the world, in Spain, in the yeah. UK. I'm, uh, even recently, I had a meeting with um, some of um, the UN um, uh, delegates. So we are t working on doing some social, talking about with social issues. Uh, Good. So. All right. I have two questions for you. The first one is, how were you discovered? Because all of a sudden, I mean, you said you've been painting, painting and drawing for a long time, but there was a time when someone saw you and decided to, wow, we have a talent here. Yeah. Let's showcase this person to the world. Yeah, so I, I, think, I think uh, through uh, social media, I think um, while I posted a work on social media, and uh, then I was planning for my third um, for, uh, exhibition because I did my first one, second one. So I was planning for third one. So I just posted the two, the first two, works I decided to showcase during my third um, exhibition. That was when the whole world see that this is uh, far beyond what we expect Nigerian people to be doing. So they take it from there and the whole world accepted it. From your handle, hyperclassical. Yeah. Olu, Olu hyperclassical. Hyper yes, I remember because I went to check out your page as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right, you said you have two questions for him. Oh, okay, they, they don't link. But let me um, I I go ahead. All right, so the second one is that um, with regards to art in other parts of the world, like you said mm. that when you started drawing as a young child, you didn't even know that it was a profession, that you could take that as a profession, a full-time mm. career. What would you say is the difference? How arts and artists are supported in other parts of the world? Because it seems like your vision has been loudest, even outside the shores of Nigeria. Yeah. So how can we improve the arts space in Nigeria? Yeah, um, there are so many um, ways we can improve arts space in Nigeria. First, uh, we need to have um, um, arts, good arts teachers, right from primary school, secondary school, and to the university level. We need to have um, those one in, in, in tact. And secondly, we need to have an um, institution whereby if someone wants to be an artist, it should be, there should be a place whereby he will be aspiring his work of art to be. Uh, for instance, now if you are in, in Europe, um, you will be aspiring to your work to be in, in a, let's say, Prado Museum in Spain now. If your work gets to that place, that means you are, you are at the apex. So, because if you go there, there are so many things um, the works of art could inspire you. Because when I went there, there are so many things that inspired me through the works of the masters I saw there. So when I came back, I realized that I haven't, we haven't done anything when it comes to art, when it comes to draftsmanship and realist uh, style of art here. Yeah, we haven't done anything. The masters have already done so many. So then if you have a museum, uh, each artist, individual artist will have the uh, mindset that ah, one day I want my work to be in, hanged here and people will be paying money to, to watch or to, to be, all the stories will be coming here to see what our history is all about, all our um, heritage is all about. If I can create something, if the government can create something of such, I think um, um, the present government is trying to do something of such now. I think if that kind of thing can be in six geopolitical zones of the country, it will help the um, young um, talented artist to be aspiring to have his work hang in those places, then he can be able to uh, be financial, uh, be in distant to the, to the economy. Because mm -hmm. when the tourists come to Nigeria, the, what they will ask for is not, uh, they want to see what shoe you are putting on. Yeah. They want to see your culture. Yeah. How do you live? How do your grandparents live? This is a they, very brilliant idea, really. Those are the things they will want to see. They will not, they will not want to even to go do, to your cinema because they have better, they have better <laughs> ones in their places. But they want to see your culture. How are you going to be able to talk to your, uh, to your um, tourists about your culture without them seeing? You can't be reading everything 
to them every now and then when they come to the, um, they, they, they dropped at the airport, mm. you, you can't see anything that would tell them that uh, these people have done something of such in the 19th century, in the 20th, 20th century. You can't say anything. So this suggestion arts, that you have given mm. has actually immense benefits. One, it to give aspiring art, an artist mm. something to look forward to, yeah. to say that they want their paintings to be hung on this gallery. Yeah. Two, it to generate income for, for us from our tourists. tourists far yes. and wide. And three, they also give an avenue for our young ones to understand their history. Because what we would see would be that artists would start to tell stories through Still paintings, paintings and then we'll have our history being preserved for us. Yes. Now your life has changed. Your life from before you were discovered to your life now. What would you say have been the significant changes apart from the fact that we are sure you have a lot of money right now? Uh, money changes everything. So... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good for you. You're still very, you know, understated. You're not mm. here with big chains and, mm, yeah. you know, have So there's more money. You agree there's more money. Uh, yeah. And how has it affected your family and friends around you? Yes, Do you yeah, have yeah. anybody feeling you like, oh... You can call them. Oh, look, he has made money. He's now proud. Has anybody given you that kind of attitude yet? Uh, no, I'm not that kind of person. Okay. You don't strike us like that. You actually yeah. strike us as a very... Yeah. You know, humble, humble person, down, to earth, person. down to earth, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story Thank and you. spending time with us. Thank you. All right, we've been speaking with Olumide Oreshego. He is um, an, a visual artist, an internationally renowned visual artist, an export from Nigeria, one we're really proud of, and we look forward to seeing the amazing fits that he has for us in the future. You can follow him on Instagram at Olu Hyper Classical. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.